Hey, Dave with Align Therapy here. I'm here with Chloe again, and she, what, one thing that I get uh, with kids with VBT surgery is sometimes they feel like they're fragile, like the spine is fragile, and they're worried about breaking tethers. So first off on this video, I want Chloe to show us how fragile her back is. So here we go. So I can't do that. That would break my back, but... Chloe can do that, and she's how far out from surgery? Um, like almost a year. Almost a year, and she's able to do competitive cheer. So this is something easy in the clinic that, uh, that she could show, but she can do way higher level exercises than that and, and activities. So uh, today I wanted to talk about three exercises after VBT surgery that you can do to help address some of the impairments that happen following VBT surgery and because before the surgery you have some imbalances because of the, the scoliosis. So how do we address those to improve posture and mobility and things like that? So first one, come on over here, Chloe. Okay. First one, we want to strengthen the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades, they do go through and usually create some incisions around the shoulder blades. So we want to strengthen those. And normally with scoliosis, Go ahead and turn around, Chloe. I want, to, I want to show something here. Usually with scoliosis, one of the shoulder blades wings out a little bit more than the other. So we want to address that imbalance and strengthen. So we're going to hold like this, and you're going to pull out and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay. Okay? Great. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Elbows stay right at your sides. Try not to arch your back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Perfect. So we're not shrugging up with the shoulders, we're just bringing the shoulder blades back. Is this easy or hard? Like kind of hard. Kind of hard. Kind well, of, it's kind hard of mid, to like, right? keep like my elbows yeah. down. So we're working the rotator cuff, we're working the muscles between the shoulder blades. I think she's getting a little tired, maybe. Nah, Chloe yeah. doesn't get tired. So this is a good one. Normally I'll have people do either three sets of 10 or 20 in a row or something like that. Just go until the muscles are fatigued. We're trying to work those muscles that open up your posture. You good with that? You wanna keep going? Okay. Nice, good with that, we're good with that. So the next one is a side plank. So let's actually just do it here on the, on the ground. Okay. So let's see, you go right there, I'm gonna go right here. Okay. So a side plank is just laying on your side. Go ahead and lay on your side right there, okay? And then hand on your hip, straight legs, and you're going to raise up. And you can either hold it, we can hold it for 30 seconds or so, or we can do dips where you're going down to the floor and back up, but you're trying not to go past where you're straight. That looks perfect. And Chloe's rock solid on these. So go ahead and turn and do them on the other side. Okay. And let's take a look at her back a little. Oh, so you're facing the other way. Oh. There we go. So come on over here, let's look at Chloe's back. So she had, had and still has a scoliosis curve that goes to the right. Here are the scars from her, uh, <laughs> she's ticklish, but these are the scars from the VBT surgery. So go up into that side plank. So we're working the muscles on the, on the bottom side, but we're also stabilizing the shoulder blade. So try and push this elbow towards the floor a little bit. Well, that's oh. a little hard, okay? Let's go one more time. Good, push this elbow up, yeah. So we're working those muscles. You can see them working right through there. That looks good. So we probably need a little bit more shoulder stability, which we would work on with, with Chloe with that. So that's number two. Number three, come on over here, Chloe. We're gonna go in this room. Okay. You're gonna find a, you're gonna find a corner. Most houses have a few corners. Mm -hmm. You probably have a few corners in your house. We want to stretch and open the chest. So open the, the pecs and get those moving. So you're going to stand in the corner. You're going to put your elbows up on the forearms up on the wall. And then you're going to lean forward into the corner, trying to feel a stretch through here. So let's try that. Okay. So Chloe's pretty flexible. She's almost hitting the corner, <laughs> but we're trying to open up through the front. Trying not to arch the back. There, perfect, good correction there. 
Do you feel that in the front, in front yeah. of your shoulders? Okay. So opening that up so that we can get good posture. And especially if she has a right thoracic curve, her right shoulder is going to sit forward more than the left, and that pec is going to be a little tighter than the other side. So trying to open that up is really helpful. Come on back out of that. Okay. Point to where you felt that. Like right here. Perfect. That's where we want to feel it. Stretching those pecs. You might feel a little bit in the lats or, or somewhere like that, maybe. But that's where we want to feel it mostly. So there are three things you can do after VBT surgery, after your restrictions are done. So don't start this like week one. That would be a bad idea. Uh, after your surgeon has cleared you to do more activity, these are pretty easy activities. The side planks, those are a little higher level activity. So make sure that you've cleared with your surgeon to do those. But if you're six months out, a year out, you should be totally fine to do these exercises. So thanks Chloe for being my model and we'll check in with you next time.